All right, Shalom. This is GMS Louisiana Saints coming back at you with another uh, quick live lesson. As always, we'll give all praises, glory, infinite honor to Yahweh. I will buy shit. I will buy to the elder apostles of GMS. Peace and blessings and citations to the hopeful elect and those that follow after the Lamb. All right, in this uh, particular lesson, we're going to go over, all right, Russia. All right, and them being that, that great and mighty bear of these times, all right, that same bear or that same country is ultimately going to play as the main character. All right, are the main people, main opposition that's going to destroy this whole called America, man. All right, which is also uh, predestined to happen. All right, according to prophecy, according to uh, the times that we're in now, man. All right, which is going to be brought forth through the Lord. All right, give me that. Uh, start me off with Proverbs uh, twenty-one and one. God. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh, as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Right, so the king's heart, all right, and who are the who is the king's all right, or, or the king? The king of Russia is who right now? Putin, man. But you know, he he has uh prime ministers and different other people behind him that sit in other power seats, but the Lord is controlling them, just as over here. In uh, in America, you have uh, Sleepy Joe, right, and you have the the bankers working on both sides, you know that we know. But ultimately, the Lord is controlling their minds to bring them forth into World War Three, all right, for that great for the great battle of World War Three, man. Which we tell you time and time again through prophecies, through these scriptures, that even Yahweh is going to is going to take take part in that thing, man. All right. But uh, start me off with Matthew 24 and start at about four. Can I get a precept real quick to back what you just said? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this uh, Sirach 18 and three is talking about the Most High. It says, who governeth the world with the palm of his hand and all things obey his will, for he is the king of all by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. So the Most High, is, he's the king that controls these so-called kings of this world. So that prophecy can be fulfilled. You got it out. All right. And just as just as the uh the bankers think they control both sides of the world, the most sides are also controlling them on both sides too, man. All right. Mm -hmm. And the, and the, one of the main players to stay on topic, one of the main players that he's using to bring forth the destruction, even you know, Putin knows that, all right. Better man Putin knows he's gonna be the one, all right, to blaze this bitch, man. Right to take America out, man, and that's why he's he's sitting in his seat. You know, he's that cool, calm poker player right now, man. All right, he's he's sitting in the seat to where he knows that in due time, all right, I'm gonna be the one to do that. That's why he has everything lined up. Even in the sense right now, you have uh, the the Lord putting him in that Soviet Union state of mind, man. All right, that's why you're seeing this thing going on over there in Kazakhstan. You're seeing um the uh. This tug of war with Ukraine, man, over the land in Ukraine, and you see that this man, Putin, he wants he wants those those allied countries that were once part of that Soviet Union, he wants them back, all right. And ultimately, the Lord's going in these couple of days, months, whatever, however the Most High, because we on His time, once it to happen, He's going to go in there, man, all right. And that's going to start a start a whirlwind of a of, of, of conflicts, you know, with Iran. It's gonna start. It's gonna start some shit with uh, what's the other, the mother of goddamn, them gutter rats, over there in Israel, all right. It's gonna start. A, it's gonna start a big conflict. What's what we want, man? All right. But the but the bear, the big bear, are gonna prevail, man. All right. They're gonna come on through, all right, with those missiles. Just as just as many other countries associated, all right, with Russia, with NATO. In the allies of America want to turn on this whole. Would you have something to say? Out? To my Ryan, you had something to say? Oh no, but I do have that Matthew twenty-four. Oh, okay. I thought you had something to say, but go ahead. I... Yeah. This is Matthew twenty-four, verse four. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. 
See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, all these things must come to pass. The wars, the rumors of wars. All right, we've been in that time of nothing, nothing but rumors of uh, conflicts. All right, you hear rumors of Russian jets passing over U.S. Uh, service ships and shit. You hear, you hear about the U.S. U.S. Uh, putting their hand, even this Kakistan situation. You know, they're saying now on the major news that America has something to do. America, all uh, right, the U.N., NATO has. Uh, they have found information that they're the ones that starting up the conflict over there in Kakistan, all right? And now they didn't send Russia didn't send troops over there the the the, the basically dead all the up the uprising, all right? But this this is what we got. We got a proxy war. It's finna turn into an actual physical war, man. All right. Let's see something. Okay. Keep going up. Kind of, yeah, just to back you up. Hey, the the US NATO are playing out of the same playbook they did for Ukraine, fomenting, fomenting a, a, a so-called co color revolution. They are sending in uh, agent agent provocateurs to act like people are naturally fighting against the government, so they can overthrow that government and set up a puppet, so they can be that much closer to Russia's border, so they can set up nuclear missiles to uh, have a much better position to do a, a first strike in the event of a nuclear conflict. Right, but well, well, we know. You best believe Russia is not gonna let that happen, man. All right? Go ahead, Ot. Con. Verse uh, seven: For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, which we're seeing. We're seeing nation and rising against nation, man. And these, and this, this, this particular uprising, this war is going. It's going to be physical, man. All right, somebody's gonna bust the first shot. Somebody's gonna kill, <laughs> which America already did a bust the first shot going back into last year with uh, Soleimani, man. All right, so that's still on the table. Those, those, that fire, that revenge still burning in the hearts. And then, uh, what that is, what nation that was? That's a uh, Iran. Which one? That uh, Soleimani was the general in? Yeah, Iran. Yeah, Iran, man. That's still burning in, in Iran's heart, man. All right, and we know that uh, Russia has been a big help. All right, in the in the Iranian people, man. All right, giving them giving them supplies, giving them um, uranium rods to create their own missiles to defend themselves, man. The big they've been they've been playing as the, the big uncle, the big brother, whatever you want to call it, man. Which that's that's in the scriptures, you know. We're gonna get that in a few minutes too. All right, which goes into Ezekiel 38. All right. You mind if I make a point real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, that, that animosity has even been brewing past Iran and, and the assassination of Soleimani. Russia's been hot with the U.S. ever since they overthrew Muammar Gaddafi in Libya because Russia, Russia actually, at that time, Russia believed that the, the U.S., and the U.N. and NATO weren't going to do anything if uh, Muammar Gaddafi gave up his nuclear capable weapons. So, so that's why they didn't make a, a big issue over him doing that. But then after he did that and, and Russia didn't do do anything, what did you see? The U.S. and NATO go in with the air campaign and, and, and proxy mercenaries to overthrow his government. And they, they butchered that man live on camera. And, the US, and, and Russia isn't going to allow that to happen again. All right, just with that guy, uh, what are the names? Uh... Syria, he's been hiding for years now, man. Uh, Assad, yeah, Assad, man. You try to do the same thing to Assad. So these nations are waking up to the, you being a goddamn devil that you always been, man. All right, the, the man that speaks with a fourth tongue, talking about you, Esau. All right, you, your army. All right, your your so-called government and your shadow government that that rules with an iron fist, that rules with a fourth tongue, man. You ain't nothing but the biggest liar there is, man. The, the biggest. Uh, Killers, there is man. All right, and that's all you've been on earth. You've been, you've been the biggest devil there is, man. Stealing resources, stealing, stealing the minds of the people. All right, polluting the water, polluting the air, the food. All right, and you just a murderer, man. A van, a van, a a, 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 a vampire, man. A blood sucking vampire, man. 
All right? And now it's your time to go down, man. That's why the Lord has put, all right, the Lord has put in place, all right, a, 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 fold, a fold for you, man. And that fold is Russian, all right? And they got just about just about as much uh, nuclear capability, much uh, war power, uh, war weapons as you do, as you do, man. But like I said, the, the big flip of this whole thing is that your own allies are gonna turn against you and gang up on you, man. All right, that's why they go. Now I'm gonna get the scriptures later because I don't want to get ahead of myself. But read down to 14, though. Right? Okay. Verse eight. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Right, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All right, that's why the prophets, the teachers, the apostles, and the men of GMS, we keep we keep pumping into your in, into your heads, man. Your thick skulls, man. You you jakes out there that these are the beginning of sorrows. These are the times that was once told, all right, of old, man. This ain't time to come up. This ain't time to talk about getting that bag, all right, and, and running a Fortune 500 company coming out of, out of college, man. This that shit is not gonna happen. All right, all right. This this whore is finna this whore is finna go bankrupt and default on that American dollar, man. To where ultimately everything else is gonna be a domino snowball effect. It's getting ready to happen over here. The dollar collapsing, all right. Which is it was which is evident through the high prices of inflation, the high price of uh, austerity is finna happen or happening. All right. Then you have right behind that you have class wars or sedition amongst men all right all these things are going to bring this bring this horde down and even now we in the month of january 2022 all right we still haven't seen the peak of winter man for us down here where they can actually use that term all right uh dark all right slash uh winter man and i had to put that in there for you two dumbass man so they'll they'll strike you if you say if you say that, you know. Yeah. Hey, Go ahead. There was a poll that just came out recently saying, uh, thirty four percent of Americans think it's acceptable to use violence against the U.S. government. Yeah, I seen that. I seen that, man. So that's 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 the whole time the apostles, including the men and the apostles, including my time in the truth. That's what they've been trying to do. They've been trying to get you people out of your houses. All right, and get your ass on the streets clashing with the government. It's it been a hard, it's been the hardest thing to do to get your lazy asses up, man. Now they have it to where they, they didn't took they didn't took the the jobs from you. All right, they didn't took the sense of comfort. All right, and the sense of uh, uh, convenience from you to where now you're mad, man. And they got you right where they want to have you, man. Which is good. Which is is a good thing. All right. Okay. But that's why I say this. This is this is what's finna happen. What you about to say? That? My bad. No, I just agreed with you. Yeah, yeah. But go ahead. Uh, keep going. Okay. Uh, verse nine. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. That's real letter. That's that's going to the to the men of the Lord, man. Some of us. All right. Uh, real real quick. Uh, real quick. I'm going to watch. Give me uh, Revelations 2, 9 and 10. All right, which we, you know, we signed up for this, man. We gonna have, we have an understanding, a full-blown understanding of what's the possibility, all right? All right, when we when you do this thing that we do, which is the world's uh, dangerous job, man, all right? All right? The world's dirtiest job, dangerous job, you want to have it, you want to call it, that's what we signed up for. We gonna have an understanding of it, man. The, the apostles, the men back then had an understanding of What's the possibility? But so be it, man. It is what it is, you know. But Lord will, all right. We don't focus on that. We focus on the salvation and deliverance of what what can be the hope that the men of the Lord has has in their in their grips, man. Yeah, we know that we 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 face with that, but we in a better we in a better seat than than two thirds, man. We're in a better seat than the, than the ones who don't know. All right. I got yeah. a okay. You got a precept for that. Okay. Like, go ahead. Just to back up what you said, hey, we, we, or you should, you should know what you signed up for when you put your hand to the plow, that they were, that they were, there were, there was a reward beyond imagination for it, but that, that to get to that reward, that road is going to be narrow and it's going to get to go to some very dark places. But as it's about to say in Romans 8 and 18, 
And this is the mindset you should be having going forward, knowing that these persecutions are coming and that we're going to be hated for the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shine. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be re revealed in us. Well, then break it down, brother. And as it says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, the persecution, loved ones turned against you, some of us getting thrown into concentration camps, and even some of us being martyrs for this truth, are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Being of that elect number, being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, as it says in First John, I believe, it does not yet, uh, it's yet not yet seen what we shall be when he is revealed, but we shall be like him, speaking of Yahweh Shai. Hey, we're, I brought the Zawar that number, but we're going to be as the house of David if we endure these sufferings and make it to the end. And as it says in Zechariah, uh, the feeblest among them shall be as David, but the house of David shall be as God. I, 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 as I always say, when you think about that, the, the, you really can't put a price tag on it. You can't even your imagination and these bodies can't even comprehend what that entails. So it's definitely worth suffering the things that we're about to go to, because, again, as it says, it's not worthy to be compared to the times that are coming and, and what's going to be revealed in us. That's right. And like I said, the brother said, we're going to be like him, man. Right, but keep going uh, in that um, in that Matthew twenty four. Kind, kind. Verse ten, and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another, and many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Right, and we see we see all that going on, man. Even in these times, a bunch of false prophets and rised up. Some have fallen. You have more every goddamn summer. Over the summer, over through, the, through the damn winter, you have one pop up, man. You know, and all these guys, they come and go. All right, but the true men of the Lord hold strong, man. They're still here. Where, where, like right now, where's uh, Occupy Wall Street at? The, 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 the one, what do they call themselves? The 1%? Where they at, man? All right, where, where's Polite and all these other characters that you had? Shaka Upmost. All right, Comfy. All right, and the list goes on and on and on. All right, and these guys get even this other cat. They try to say he 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 faked it. He he did a, a so-called faking of his debt. The, uh, 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 crack the That's news, the news yeah. crack the news, crack <laughs> on the news, whatever the fuck you want to call him. This character, man, these cats come and go. You know they do every everything is for clout, everything's for that for that lucre sake, man. Getting that getting that that guapo, man. All right, and a lot of you numbskulls, you copper tops, you believe that shit. All right, but then when you get burned, you want to come back. Oh yeah, they GMS said that man. They said that about this guy. They said this is about that guy, man. You gonna learn a lot of you gonna learn the hard way, man. All right, a lot of you, a lot of you boneheads out there gonna get you gonna you gonna get put to death by believing these damn charlatans, man. These hirelings, man. All right. All right, this ain't the time. This ain't the time to be wait, being in a wayward doctrine. All right, being swayed one way. Oh, I'm easily persuaded this. I'm easily persuaded that. Man, you better know solid, have a full blown understanding on what the hell you was going on, man. All right, but let's get back to the lesson, man. You know that. You know it comes up every now and then. You know, it happens. It's the spirit. Right. What you about to say? I just say it's the spirit. Not the spirit. Yeah. Move. Keep going up. Huh? Uh, verse 11. Reason. Verse 11 again. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And we're seeing the love of many wax cold, all right? All right. What you see on the media, all right, with the people uh, uh, killing, the crime going up, <clears throat> the love of many has waxed cold, man. People are on the edge. All right, people, the people are on the edge, man, for what's going on with the, with the, all right, with the uh, Victoria's Secret, all right, everybody in rage, standing in line, getting a big pocket for the Victoria's Secret, and then they didn't lost their jobs. There's no more money, gas prices, food prices have lost, you know, have have brought them to to the end of a short fuse, 
uh, attitude, man. They just real short with their attitudes and their temper, man, to where people are blowing each other away. All right? And it's just the start of it. This ain't even the beginning, the true beginning of sorrows, man. All right, but go ahead. You had something to say? Yeah, I was uh, just to back up that precept saying the love of many shall wax cold. I was driving to go pick up some food, and there's a diner down here where they have a different little saying on their billboard every day. Sometimes it's giving some some birthday information or a graduation or a little witty comment. But this 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 billboard today was talking about, I think it was a Jake down here who shot his baby in the head or something. And they, they mentioned that, and they said, where is the outrage underneath it? Hey, there is no outrage of it because uh, occurrences like that are becoming a common everyday thing. So people are becoming emotionally cold and numb to it. And with these people dealing with a whole host of other issues in their personal lives, it, they ain't got time for it. They're, they're really getting into that dog eat dog. I got to get it how I live. Hey, it's it's every man for himself spirit out here. And as it says, it's just just the beginning of sorrows. Things are going to get much worse and, and dark and, and, and despicable and, and horrific out here as we get closer and closer to you. How was Shai's second coming? That's right, man. Yeah, keep going. Okay. Verse 13. But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Right, and that's the that's the ultimate goal in this thing. This thing about what's called this this truth, man. Enduring. Having 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 a mind frame of enduring to the end, man. Not wavering and falling off. All right. Not getting weak in the end. Why why would you get weak? All right, when the credits the, the movie is almost over with and the credits finish show, man. All right, why would you get weak? That's when you're supposed to get strong at the end of the race, man. At, at the end of the race, that's when you turn it on, man. All right? Read that part again and go to 14. Huh? God, to, this is, to hit it home, man. This is Matthew 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. That's this, right. Go ahead. Verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Yeah, and this what happens? We'll read it one more time, my Baba Gasha. Kind. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Has not that happened? Has not has 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 we not told you, you know, we didn't we didn't we didn't told you about camps popping up all around the world, man. Japan, uh, South, Central, South Africa. All right, you got Word. brothers all around the world. This, 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 this truth has this, this, this truth ultimately has been preached all around the world, man. Yeah, if there's accounts of brothers being early on in the military, uh, you got El Elder Makama that talked about how. Different nations have translated these these same scriptures, these same videos that we're talking to, these epistles into their own language, man, to where they can understand what what it is and exactly what we're saying. Has that not happened? All right, has not the unicorn blown that horn, man? The, the which is the internet, the Most High allowed the internet to be spread this truth all around the world, man. So this is it is this this particular scripture has happened, man, and it says then shall the end come. So we're at the end. We're in the beginning. We at the end of this thing, man. All right? That's why we give you... That's why when you, you look at our videos, you look at different different pages, the, the number one thing that the prophets, the teachers, and apostles will be give you is what? Prophecy, man. All right? We push prophecy the hardest because that's, that's, the, that's the point. That's the main point of, of, this, of this matter, man. Prophecy. All right? These churches ain't giving you prophecy. They're giving you pros prosperity. They feel good. That uh, that snake oil, man. These other ABC camps, they're giving you, they're giving you prosperity too, man. All right, they're actually rocking you to sleep. Go ahead. If I just say real quick, a lot of these camps push the commandments, the commandments, the commandments. But the the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. When you hear the prophecies, you're gonna fear the Lord and start to keep the commandments anyway. You don't you don't have to lead with commandments. When you find out America's gonna be destroyed and you live in America, of course you're gonna want to repent. You start with the prophecies. You got it up. Right, because the prophet, what the prophecies do, let me see, let me see. Uh, what the what the prophecies do 
it, it, it does this particular scripture here. Uh, one of you birds can get. Uh, where am I? Where am I? Uh, let me get this real quick out. Okay. This is a letter to the Hebrews 11 and 7. By faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. And that's what we're doing. That, that was the first death, which was by water. The second death is going to be by fire. And we're moved with fear, being warned of the Most High, and we're warning Israel. That's That starts with prophecy, man. You got it out. And another thing, Again, another another good one is Acts thirty one, Acts nine and thirty one, and I'm trying to find this other one real fast. I got the action. You gonna say something, Ryan? I'm just gonna back up what you said about uh, these camps out here pushing the law, the law, the law, but through through prophecy and 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 first and foremost, fearing the Most High, and that builds up your faith and everything that we're saying is true. So that leads you to find the laws. And it's no different with, with uh, Abraham. He had faith in the Most High. So what did he do? He left off of the ways of his father and he circumcised himself and started following after his true power and had the faith and had the faith to uh, believe in the Most High when he told him to sacrifice Isaac. He, he, he walked in a, in a hundred, a hundred and forty four percent faith, which led to him showing his works to prove his faith. Okay. And the one. I got the axe. I could be one. Hey, get the other one too, cause the damn shit crashed on me. Um, get a uh, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men because with prophecy through the through the understanding of prophecy, all right, understanding the times and what these prophecies uh, have in, in store to come, it puts a fear in you, which gets you in correction to get right, man. All right, understanding uh, two hundred uh, million missiles gonna hit America. Understanding. Uh, the martial law, the troops, uh, the, they should come in like a flood. You know, the troops and, and different things of that nature, you get in line, man, through fear of the Most High. You understand that this is all culminated by the Most High bringing his his his, his terror and wrath all right, on Babylon the Great and on the wicked, man. So you ultimately, you get in line. You get, you get your shit together, as they say. All right? Got it. <laughs> The Acts, just Acts 9 and 31. Then had the churches rest throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria and were edified and walking in the fear of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit were multiplied. Yeah, man. Man. And that, that's what it does, man. One thing that it multiplies too, it multiplies your faith. You grow in faith through the fear of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. By walking in fear. By understanding these prophecies, man. All right. That's what that's the problem with a lot of you. You so-called uh, self-proclaimed Christians. You don't walk in fear. You walk, you walk, you walk in, in your own heart and your own belly to do what you want to do, man. All right. But now understanding that the Lord, the Lord asks for you to fear him, man. All right. You're going to fear the Lord when the Lord really raises, going back into the, the, the lesson at hand. When the Lord raised his bear, truly raised his bear up to, to do his thing, to go to, to go on his rampage, you're gonna fear, man. All right. This is this is the times, man. Uh give me Ezekiel 38, 2. 38 and 1. And I got that terror of the Lord if you still want it. Well, before we get that that 38, uh give me that terror, the, the terror of the Lord, and then uh, I'm gonna while you go into your article. I forgot about that. Okay. This is 2 Corinthians 5, verse 11. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But yeah, we're... Man. Okay. Yeah, through the terror of the Lord, man. Understanding how the Lord get down and get busy and what he, what he can do you, you know. We did a video a while back telling you the Lord can kill you, man, in the most horrific, <laughs> most horrific, gruesome way, man. All right, you can actually be a part of these prophecies, man. How being having a nuke drop on your goddamn head, man? No, hey, that's, a, that's a <laughs> go ahead. Uh. Hey, there are people out out there right now who could be watching this video who are who are destined to take part in that judgment in in a yeah. written written in the story of that prophecy. Hey, somebody's gotta somebody's gotta fill these lots out here. The judgment, 
and the salvation. Abaratza, we we and you sincere Akim and, and Aqua to fulfill fulfill that 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 lot of salvation and don't fulfill that lot of judgment. Right, man. Somebody got somebody got to play the part of the movie. You know, just like you got you got in the movie in the last part of the script, you got guy one, uh, guy two, the guy the stunt driver and, and the, the, you know the uh, what the guy the, the uh, damn on to my tongue. It just says. In the credits, it just has extras and all the names in a long list under it. They don't have the character they played next to it or anything. It's just <laughs> extras. They're not written that's, that's, in the, in the you guys, man. That's preserved. What, what Second Peter say? Reserve unto reserve to the day of the Lord, man. A lot of you people are just reserved to the day of the Lord. You're gonna be a part of that. You're gonna learn what fear and the terror, and you're gonna learn about these prophecies by the really going through it, man. If you understand what I'm saying, you're gonna be going through it literally man all right because russia back to the, the topic at hand these russians are ready to use them nukes man all right these russians have have uh been skilled uh what it is skilled uh the artifices they've been skilled ministers of the most high man all right, they, they even these 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 goddamn they're the devil too. All right, let's not get it twisted. They're the goddamn devil too. What they have done, they have put put together what we call the hypersonic missile, man. All right, that's that's a missile above all the missiles they got now. And they're ready to use them. They want to see what that missile can do. They tied, you best believe they tied shooting the motherfuckers on the side of mountains and desert desert areas, man. They want to see what it does to people, to flesh, all right? What yeah, yeah. it does to the bone marrows of people. To, to the cars and buildings and streets and whatever else you got, man. They want to see that shit really uh, be uh, uh, on display, man. It's like when you get a, it's like when you get your a nice, a nice little piece. Man, you tired, you tired looking at it in the box, you know, wiping on it and shit. You, you steady fucking with, you, you want to go see what it can do, man. <laughs> you want to see what, hey, I want to hit a pop, the bang. I want to, I want to mess with it, man. So the same thing with these versions. They're ready to use those. Hey, the most high is ready to, for, for them to get down, man. Yahweh Shah is ready to get down. Yahweh Shah has 200, 2,000 years of, 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 of anger in his heart, man, to, to, to let it out on you goddamn Edomites, man. Even you damn Russians, you're going to get a piece of, of Yahweh Shah too, man. You, you Chinese, you're going to get a part of that too. But you're going to be used, using the play, play your part in this thing, man. <clears throat> What you got out? I was just going to say real quick, the Most High put such a heavy artifice of spirit on <clears> these <throat> Russians that not only did they create these hypersonic missiles, that the U.S. generals even admit that they, they don't have any anti-missile defense system that can stop it, but they also put the spirit on these Russians to create the S-500 anti-missile defense system, which specifically stops their own hypersonic missiles. So anything... Well so anything America comes up with, they they play catch up with some hypersonic missiles. Russia's got the counter to that. They've got the offensive and the defensive weapons. So the Most High has these American Edomites in in the ultimate trick bag. And then to back up what you were saying, you you Russian Edomites are still devils, and you Chinese are heathens. When you read in Isaiah chapter eleven, it says that they shall spoil them. They shall spoil Esau. They shall fly to the east and spoil Esau and uh, Moab. So the elect led by Yahawashai, after the dust settles and the, the Edomites in Babylon are destroyed, hey, they're gonna come and enslave, Abaratazai, we're, we're that number. Yahawashai and the elect are gonna fly to the east and enslave you Russian Edomites and you Moabites and you other heathen nations. So it, if you're not an Israelite, there's, there, there's nothing good coming your way. The only thing that's coming your way is, is judgment. And it's as simple as that. Yeah, it's uh this one red letter by Yahweh Shai. This is Matthew, all right. Because ultimately we know that you Russians are Edomites and you so-called Americans are Edomites, all right. And you are, you're against each other. You've been against each other from the beginning of times, man. All right. Every every movie, every video game, every uh since of uh, understanding of, of American Russia, they always had them versus each other, man. So this is uh, this already has been predestined to happen, right? That Russian bear, all right, is, is gonna is gonna uh, ultimately give the deadly wound to this horde, man. 
this is uh Matthew 12 and 21. Matthew 12 and 21 it says, And Yahweh Shah knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand, man. All right? And that's ultimately that the kingdom of Edom is divided, is inner fighting, is inner war against each other. Even you, even you Amalekites, man. Y'all the same nation, y'all against each other, and you're gonna be brought, you're gonna be brought down to desolation, man. All right. You're not gonna prevail. You Russians, you don't you even though we're talking about you tonight, even though we're we're, we're going into you tonight, guess what? You still not gonna become the world power there is. You you fucking you goddamn Japs, man. All right. And you got them uh you Moabites and you and you Ammonites, man. You even you, you're not gonna come to the next world power, even though you believe you is. You believe you sit in the next the next seat to be in power, but you're not though, man. All right, you're gonna be brought down too. But go ahead, you brothers go. I think you got an article. I think yeah. other brother got you. you had something. Oh, I think everybody had an article, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah, go into the article. Right? Yeah. It says uh, Kazakhstan's uprising was a long time coming. And it's unwelcome distraction for Vladimir Putin. And it's on CNN World. It says, for drivers in Western Kazakhstan, it was not a happy new year when January 1st brought a doubling in the price of liquid petroleum gas. Mm -hmm. Only a few dozen people took to the streets to protest. But within three days, their anger was echoed by people across the vast, resource-rich Central Asian state fed up with everything from unemployment and inflation to corruption. The security forces had the upper hand to begin with, vastly outnumbering those who braved arrest and sub-zero temperatures to protest. So these are people that are protesting in sub-zero temperatures, man. That's <laughs> you you really feel a way if you're going out protesting in the public and it's is negative whatever degrees. Like that's that goes back to Second Edris 15, where it says there, there shall be sedition among men and they would not regard their princes. It says, but by January 4th, Spontaneous unrest had engulfed Almighty, the largest city in the, author the authoritarian former Soviet state. The government's promises to roll back the price increase and offer other economic support were too little and too late. So you have uh, you have fires being started, turmoil. You have all sorts of unrest going on in this place. And, you know, you can see uh, Capitol buildings are on fire. People are taken to the streets. There's mobs now. It it's crazy, man. This is one. Yeah, you got it. This is second Ezra nine. And I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read down to three. One, I'm gonna read down to three. It says, and he answered me and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou see the part of the science pass, I had when I which I have told thee before, thou shalt then thou shalt understand that it is the same very time in which the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when thou shalt see shall be seen earthquakes and uproars, all right, uproars of the people in the world. You got that? Okay. That's that's what we're seeing right now. Uproars of the people. These are people going against the police. The police are shooting rubber bullets. They're, they're just setting Capitol buildings on fire. The uh the mayor of uh he says violence the violence that broke out in that city on Wednesday encouraged Tokayev to make a more hardline approach, he said bandit elements had beaten police and robbed stores. The unrest had become a question of the safety of our citizens, and he would act as toughly as possible. And this all goes back to Esau's plan. He intentionally sets up situations. They, they call it a uh, pressure from above, pressure from below. They intentionally set up situations to make their citizens riot so that they can justify bringing in marsh, uh, you know, harsher elements, things of that nature. This is all planned. Right, in the back. That, that same thing is coming to over here too. That's no, no. Let's not get that. Let's get that understood. That that same thing, all right, is going to happen to you, uh, to you Americans, man. And this is what this brother exactly what this brother going into. You, you Americans, gonna understand the, the position that you're sitting in right now with the C19. These devils going to bring pressure from above and pressure from, from below to get you to go and and, and do some heinous acts out here, man. To to burn some shit, to flip over some shit. You know what I'm. You know what I'm going into, man. All right. Hold on now. 
All right. Exactly what this brother, because it's these same things that was going on. If you brothers remember, remember Greece? Don't even, they try to keep Greece uh, hidden away in the news now, man. Venezuela too. Venezuela. Venezuela? Yeah. All those things are coming coming to to America, man. All right. Really, they here. Really, they here, man. It's just it just it just it just pulling the cord on this whore, man. Once once the cord of green light gets ushered in, all right, by the top by the top people at the top of the government, you're going to see the same things happening over here. Because you people, like the brother went into that article, you people, all right, you you damn, you you damn uh, Generation Z, you you young boys out there, you, I mean, I'm talking about across the board, all you nations, y'all ready to get busy against the government, man. Y'all ready to get out here and start looting, all right, start shooting, all right, busting bottles and shit. You ready to get down, man. All right, and then the middle of the Lord ready for you to get done because the much more, the much, the much faster that can happen is much faster we get the hell up out of here, man. All right, in that order, man. Go ahead, Doc. Yeah. Says, uh, for now, Tokayev seems intent on painting the unrest as the work of, I don't know if I can say this word, the T word, there's a war on, you know, claiming that many of them have received military training abroad. Whether that is sustainable and whether popular anger represents yeah. an existential threat to his rule is far from clear. So the war on uh, Terrell, huh? Yeah, Terrell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Basically, they're saying if you uh, if you resist the government, you're you know you're one of them. So they're they're already painting the narrative that if you don't comply with whatever the government says, you're you have secret military training from some foreign entity. Like this is all like the elder said. This is all coming to America, man. Just like Eddie Murphy, everything you see going on around the world, all of this unrest is coming here. And what these governments are doing to their citizens, they're going to do to these people, man. The only difference is America is so heavily armed, the government just, they don't want to just go with their move immediately. They want to try to use little clandestine, you know, activity to try to uh, disarm people first, but that's not going to work, man. Esau, he's in love with his blessing. He's not going to let it go. Right. Just like what they've been doing too, you know, you know, the brothers got a hint of it. All right, from uh, I don't like I said, I don't know if I can say the guy Richie, Richard, Richie, Richie, RFB, yeah, RFB, or Richard from Boss, Boston, man. Him and his, 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 some other characters that we watch, they're saying that these what Esau's finna do, which we didn't have a bunch of them down here. I didn't heard a bird up there in Wisconsin and had a bunch of them. What Esau getting ready to do is start rolling out a bunch of bunch of blackouts, man. All right, a bunch of blackouts where. The power being shut down for hours at a time, and then, in a, in a, in a, in a sense of, you know, because he we know this devil move in the dark, all right. When he when he when he shuts down your city, all right, or your region, in the dark, that's when they gonna make that move in, man. You wake up in the morning, it's, it's tanks and Humvees every goddamn way, all right. Yeah. Hey, right. But go ahead. There was uh, I I know you I know you saw that video. I think you were the one that that posted it too. It was a, a gutter rat talking about something called Project Zypher. Yeah. Where, where when uh, as you were just saying, when when the elites and the government are getting ready to make their move, there's going to be a, a a blackout, a EMP, and that's when they're going to come up and snatch up uh, political dissidents in the in the dead of night and and uh, put them put them in these different uh, detention centers and zones out here and handle business. Yeah, and never be seen again, man. Oh, you know, but we know that Esau, your plans ain't gonna go. As you you think they're gonna go, man. All right, the Lord gonna set up a standard against your ass, man. Lord will. All right. Um, keep going. I if you got some more, keep going. Bob, yeah, that's on that. That's on that. I got the other one though. When you want to go into the yeah, yeah go ahead. Russia. We get back on. We get back on point. You know the spirit. The spirit goes where it wanna go at, man. So it is what it is. You know. Don, you want to bring out the Ezekiel first, or go into that the, uh, the other article on Russia? Talking to you, right? Hmm. Oh. You bring out the Ezekiel. The. Uh, the oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I read the Ezekiel. Yeah. This is a uh, Ezekiel. How far you want me to go down? Go down to about uh seven. Where it says beat up. I think I think that is seven. Uh, be a be a guard unto them. Kind. That's it. Kind. This is a uh, Ezekiel thirty-eight, verse one, and the word of Yahweh came unto me saying. Son of man, 
set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, and the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and prophesy against him, and right. say... And Gog is Russia, man. All right? Gog is another another word for Russia. All right? And, the, and these Russians, all right... This is this is a, a a prophecy in the making right now. This this actual prophecy is in motion. It's actually being displayed in front of us, man. That's this is what Russia is doing right now to these uh to these different nations around them, man. You know what you see in Kazakhstan, you, what you see with Crimea, with the things you have seen in the last past couple of months, or Ukraine, man. This is in motion right now. This is a prophecy that's actually jumping off the page as we speak. All right, and it's only going to escalate, man. It's only going to get uh, even more intense. All right, till we go down to uh, what that uh, scripture? I think down in ten, man. Ezekiel thirty-eight and ten. But keep going up. Verse three, and say, "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal." And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. Right. And, and we go over this time and time again. This, this particular scripture comes up uh, uh, quite frequent sometimes in, 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 the, in this camp, you know, on, on live live camp videos, man. All right. The putting hooks in our jaws going into the, how the Lord is going to put those hooks into a Russia jaw to make them turn into that Soviet Union state of mind, man. That warlike ancient Soviet Union state of mind, man. And which they have done, which you see, you, we, you have seen Putin, all right, display his his, his uh, distaste for America. You have seen Putin go out in pursuit of those different uh, provinces and territories that was once part of the Soviet Union, Crimea being one, all right, Ukraine being another, man. And it's only gonna it's only gonna uh, escalate more, all right. Go ahead, I. And put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Right, and that goes into the whole uh, host of the armies of Russia, man. All right, they're going to be a part of World War Three. You know, you can't forget them because they're, they're also... One of the, the main characters of World War Three, man, that's gonna come against this whore and burn this bitch, man. Right along with, right along with China, All right, right along with uh, what we know, it's gonna come up in the next verse, um, which which ancient, the ancient name is uh, Persia, but the, you know the modern day the name the modern day name today is Iran. She's gonna burn this whore, man. All right, right along. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this out real fast. Now that I'm thinking about it, I went into I went into uh, this particular subject right here. You know who are the U.S. allies and enemies? All right, and you know they got they got the NATO, all the NATO members up here, and they also went into some of the uh, some of the top some of the top uh, 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 allies of America. Number one being Mexico. All right. Next one is uh, India, due to the simple fact uh, uh, having one of the largest, uh, what it says, one of the largest econ uh, one of the largest economic economy, not bad, one of the largest economies where many Americans companies do business in. All right, that's why they're friends. It says Brazil, Israel, all right, uh, Egypt, Japan, South Korea. Panama and the Saudi Arabia, man. All right, and it says Saudi Arabia and Iraq due due to uh, all trades as American as America is the largest oil buyer of these states. That's why. All right, and right after that, you go. It has a list of the enemies. Top three, uh, uh number in top three, Iran, North Korea, Syria. All right. Then it goes into uh, it says it says a part of these three nations, the following nations are considered to be hostile or unfriendly towards America, either in terms of economic 
hostility or political hostility of or both. It says number one on the list. All right. Number one, Russia, America's greatest adversary since the 20th century. All right. Libya, Afghanistan, Somalia, China. All right. Venezuela, Pakistan, Cuba, uh, Palestine. And what a tip. All right. They ain't giving it a tent. They gave it a tent. But those are the those are America's all right, biggest <coughs> biggest foes, biggest enemies, right along with their, their top allies. But guess what? We tell you time and time again, according to prophecy, according to these scriptures, all those those nations that I named from Mexico, India, Brazil, Israel, Egypt, Japan, South Korea, Panama, and Saudi Arabia, even them, even they gonna turn on them, man. And they got over 29 NATO countries in the in that bunch, man. All them countries is gonna turn on America. All right, give me um Revelation 17, 16 real fast too. You know? I got it. This is the plan of those nations, man. And and, and uh and I give me uh Jeremiah fifty, I play fifteen and twelve, I believe. Gotcha. <clears throat> read that revelation first. Got it. This is Revelation seventeen and sixteen. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Right. And this is what's gonna happen, man. All those nations that, that are in unison with this whore and that and that uh and that at, at variance against this whore is gonna burn this whore, man. And eat her flesh and burn her with fire. How are they gonna burn her with fire, man? And that horde being America, how America is going to get burned with fire through those nuclear missiles, man. All right. That's how, you know, a lot of you so-called wacky tacky Christians don't want to accept that. All right. You don't want to accept all you want to believe in all day. You niggas drink down that, that rapture juice all goddamn day. Just put the rapture juice down, man. All right. The tribulation the rapture. That's all you niggas are sucking on all goddamn day, but you have no understanding on what the hell is going on, man. All right. What's gonna happen is, is the ultimate destruction, all right? And we telling you, we telling you, we giving you the uh, the main character right now, man. You asking to say that? Okay. And if you've been paying attention, you can see that the ten horns, which is speaking of the EU, upon the beast NATO, hey, they they've got a, a multitude of grievances towards that whore, America, for one, with the the U.S pushing pushing for a, a conflict with russia over the ukraine russia is a there's a situation going on where russia is not sending a lot of their uh, natural gases to europe in response to the u.s trying to take ukraine and your and europe uh, europe a lot of these nato nations like germany france you name it get most of their heating oil and natural gas for the winter winter season from russia so it's looking like it's going to be a very cold winter in, in Europe because of what the U.S. is doing towards Russia. So there's a point there making these these ten horns hate that whore. And then you had something called AUKUS where the U.S. started doing deals with Australia to give them nuclear weapons technology for uh, submarines. And France felt some kind of way about that because the U.S. wouldn't give France any of this technology, even though they've been an ally for a, a much yeah. closer... A much, kind of, a much closer ally to the U.S. than Australia. So there's another strike with one of those horns having a reason to hate the whore. Hey, Jeremiah 15, 12. Let's get it. <laughs> it says, uh, Jeremiah 50, verse 12. Your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Which we know that the, the mother is Great Britain. That's, the, that's where Babylon comes out of. It says, behold, the hindermost of the nation shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Hey, go ahead. You about to say something? Yeah. It, hey, another thing, all, all happening, a lot of shit happened this year, building that animosity between the U.S. and its allies, those that were confederate with her, as it says in Obadiah, I think, 1 verse 7, where it said in that Jeremiah 50 verse 12, your mother shall be sore confounded with you. When the U.S. pulled out of Afghanistan, a bunch of former 
heads of state in the British government, as well as 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 current heads of state in the British government said, I don't think that unbreakable bond can can survive this situation with Afghanistan because the U.S. put the U.K. in a very bad position pulling out of Afghanistan like that. So that's another another strike between the U.S. and its allies. So the most high is putting many different many different uh situations in place to make America's allies start to turn against her. And it's going to culminate in them allying themselves with Gog. Or if you go into Jeremiah 50 verse 9 in that same chapter, that North country, Russia, to altogether shoot 200 million nuclear missiles onto this whore to eat her flesh and burn her with that fire. That's right, man. You know, you had the whole conflict of what, about a year ago, a year and a half ago, Brexit, which mm -hmm. made uh, Britain yeah. pulled out of that shit, man. You know, so you got a, you got a, you got a lot, you got a lot of conflict coming from all different directions that we, you know, we got to, you know, we as the prophets got to continue to pay attention to, man. You know, all that's going to, like I said before, going to bring forth us getting the hell up out of here, man. But you no, know, we like to see you devils get into it, all right? Um, I got, go ahead, you had something? Or whatever, because I'm going to probably get this one right here. If I could, I just wanted to make a point with uh I, I just read it in jeremiah 50 verse 9 for lo i will raise the cause to come up against babylon the united states of america an assembly of great nations from the north country that north country being russia and when you go back to that ezekiel 38 with them getting those hooks put back into their jaws in that old soviet union spirit a hey, russia's russia's been real busy uh economically geopolitically and militarily with these different nations out here they they're doing military ties and, and uh and uh, political ties with sudan which just happens to be by the red sea in the valley of jehoshaphat positioning them there they uh, help bashar al-assad beat the u.s israel and their proxy forces in the syrian civil war and they've refurbished one of their vital military ports there and then you, you see what they're doing with uh, Ukraine and Crimea, flexing their muscles. And, and one of the main reasons they're known as that North country is because of that Arctic Ocean region. Because what's north of the U.S.? You've got Canada and that Arctic Ocean region, which over the past couple of years, the, the Russians have been building up their military assets heavily in that region. And you've had U.S. generals have to literally come out and say, look, we got to play catch up with the the russians in the arctic ocean region because this is a very strategic area and one guy who's a, a geopolitical analyst said this he said those who that are in control of the arctic ocean region have have a a very strategic location because that's the shortest point it would take for a military to reach any capital of the world with missiles all right and they're gonna do that man the scriptures talks about all right in the space of a half an hour man all right. The scripture talks about how uh, um, uh, this whore is going to be burned with fire. It's only going to take an hour to burn this bitch up, man. This whore called America. When it's get when it's, when when over 200 million missiles get detonated on this country, according to prophecy of the Bible, not in my own heart. All right. I'm not twisting nothing. This this is in the scripture. The scripture talks about this whore getting burned with fire in the space of an, of an hour, man. All right. And it's going to happen, all right? It's predestined to happen, according to prophecy, man. But I had this one here. Um... You mind if I finish uh, that verse 9 real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon, an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. So, do you, you know, just to feel you, you wacky tacky Christians in, man, you know, that's, they ain't talking about just no regular average everyday arrow that you go buy from uh, uh, Dick Sporting Goods, you know, <laughs> uh, you go buy from uh, Academy, all right, or your, or your local archery uh, store that you go buy a bow and arrow from. Those arrows there are nothing more given the biblical. It's, it's basically who he was reading. What book he was reading from? Uh, Jeremiah fifty. Yeah, Jeremiah was giving his biblical description of today's time of a nuclear missile, and he said it looked it basically looked like an arrow, man. 
All right. And read that part again about the arrow. What, what's going to happen with the arrow? Time. And they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. Right. None... That's why it called those arrows or those nuclear missiles. Because an arrow, an arrow from Dick Sporting Goods cannot be of a mighty expert man. All right. That mighty expert man part is talking about the GPS. Uh, the mighty uh, expert man is talking about the GPS capabilities that those nuclear missiles are gonna have, man. All right, and then the scriptures. There's also many scriptures too that tell you that the, those missiles are not gonna run into each other. They're not gonna collide mid air. They're not gonna. Uh, I got it for you. Okay. Why? Why they're not gonna do that? Because of the the, the GPS capabilities, man. All right. When they go up in the air, they get they get sideways or something. It's gonna re redirect itself back to where it's supposed to go. And you best believe, as we speak, in them silos, they already pre-programmed to go to certain cities, certain continents, man, certain uh, different provinces of the world, man. All right, to, to detonate. All right, go ahead, Doc. To back me up with that, uh, how they not gonna hit each other, man? Okay. They're not gonna explode mid and have an accident. One crosses another. No, they're gonna they're gonna hit pinpoint where they need to go, man. And you know, like I said before, these Russians, man, these these goddamn Russians, man. The most I've given them the ultimate technology to put that technology in their missiles, man. They have it. All right, Satan one, Satan two. All right, the the nations. I think it's the the, the Tars bomber. If I'm if I'm rough repair, it might be saying it wrong. The Sars Tars Obama. That's another powerful missile that, that these Russians have, man. The King Bomb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. It ain't just no dumbass missile that you just shoot and hope it hit. No, those have mighty expert men goes into the, the the honing in the GPS capabilities that those those missiles have to, to project those those uh, warheads where they need to go at, man. Go ahead, I. <clears throat> This is Joel chapter 2, verse 7. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march everyone on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. And not break their ranks going into those nu those those nukes, man. Those missiles. All right? The Lord, the Lord you've seen how just in two scriptures, the Lord referred to those missiles as mighty expert men. He referred to them as men of war, marching over the walls and and getting busy, man. All right. And those and those missiles, man. Those missiles are gonna have the the fierce anger of the Lord in them, man. When they when he when he when he drop them on your goddamn heads, man. All right. All you all the wicked around the world, all the wicked of Babylon. The Lord's gonna drop really rain. He's gonna really be the the real rain. Uh, make it rain on your goddamn masses, man. All right. I'm gonna back that, Joel. Well. Hey, Come. hey. Um, got one more verse too. I'm gonna. Do you have you have a way of finding that old G, uh, GMS uh, sign of the it's a missile the missile coming from out of the atmosphere into space coming back down it's a diagram of the missile just to show Jake man it's an old it's an old sign I don't have it I think I I might have it on an old USB card or something man. This one, you know, this came in my, came, came to me off the dome, man. I look for it. You mind if I read verse eight real quick? Yeah, keep going. Huh? This is Joel two and eight. Neither shall one thrust another; they shall walk every one in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Right. They should not thrust one another. Meaning they're not going to run into each other. They're not gonna. Uh, they're not gonna detonate mid-air because it was an accident in, in space. Now they're gonna hit their mark. They're gonna be of a mighty expert man. They're gonna have uh, uh, keen. Uh, what, what's the word? They're gonna. They're gonna have keen precision. They're gonna hit with precision, man. They're gonna hit their mark. If, if, they, if those missiles are programmed to hit L.A., they're gonna hit L.A. to the T. If they're, if, they're, if they're scheduled to hit New Orleans, they're going to hit New Orleans to the T, man. All right? They're going to really level some shit out here. All right? And like we tell you all the time, this whore called America, she's going to let some missiles off too, man. 
All right? But ultimately, Russia is going let to the, let, let them hoes go, man. NATO, too. Now, did you brother see the, the video I put up there with NATO versus Russia and the amount of technology they have and the amount of missiles? That uh, NATO, NATO, NATO got some shit, too, man. You know? And when it said they shall fall upon the sword and not be wounded, that sword is talking about those anti-missile defense systems, which are going to fail in that day. So all these missiles can can reach their targets without any problems. For one, again, Russia's got those hypersonic missiles, which no anti-missile defense system can keep up with. And and for two, really number one, the Most High Spirit's going to be on those anti-missile defense systems to fail as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they had all kind of articles that uh. They're starting to declassify the uh, the chariot sightings. When the chariots would pop up around the Pentagon or different military bases, they would disable the uh, the defense systems. These are these are military ex military men coming out straight up telling you that chariots would appear and then their systems would malfunction. They did this decades ago. So that in the most high just letting Esau know, like, look, whatever you're planning, I could just any given moment I could just pop up. <laughs> they, they're finished. Hey, yeah, there were times where. Coming up in this truth, where Apostle Tahar brought out accounts, all right, where the, the, the chariots to go around the different silos around America and actually start counting down, and everybody being the red, oh no, we don't want that, you know, and make the make the countdown go, man. The red light come on, and then five, four, three, and this and this turn the bitch off, man, you know, and all all the evil might be going cuckoo for cocoa puffs in there, man, you know, the missile start. The missile starts smoking, you know, going down and shit. <laughs> the, the door start opening and shit, man. You know, but that's good for you, devils, man. Show you you don't you don't have no power, man, as you think you do, man. I wanted to find this other one real fast. I, like I say, bear with. Oh, here you go. Bear with me because I had I got a new Bible. You know how that can be. This is uh, you know, you I think I'm a while. You can break it down real fast because this is what you, I think this is what you were talking about. You and Rob, you were talking about this. This is Jeremiah 51. Shit, I might well get all the meat, get all the meat off that bone though. This is Jeremiah fifty one and one. It says, "Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst there of them, that rise up against me a destroying wind, and I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her, that shall empty her land, for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about." All right, and it says, "This the point." All right, and against them that uh, bend it, let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifted up himself in his brigadine. All right, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Okay. So the destroying wind is going into the, the nuclear fallout, the destruction, the same destruction that the angels are holding back right now, going back to Revelation 7, so that the elect can be sealed. And once that's that's done. As the brother just read, there's going to be fanners that are sent. They're going to fan the flames. And then it says the, uh, the Brigadon, that goes into, uh, in the Hebrew is Sarayan, which is uh, basically like a coat of armor in the ancient world. But as it tells you in Isaiah, the ninth chapter, that this war is not going to be like like that old ancient battle. You just, you go into war, you, ah, you hear swords clashing. This war is going to be fought with fuel of fire. So the Brigadon represents what? The missile defense system. And it's not going to help America, man. That's right. But yeah, I got a real quick one to back up what you just, that precept and the one Raya brought out. I got to get my other Bible, but also those fans of the angels, man. They're going to make this, they're going to make this, this, this temperature even hotter. They're going to make this shit even hotter than what it is, man. Because if you fan a fire, you actually can make that fire engulf more, man. You know, this is my other scriptures, though. Let me see. Let me get it real fast. Go ahead, brothers. If I can bring this. Just real quick to back up that destroying wind yeah. and, and what the elder brother said about those angels being those fainters. This is Revelation 7 verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the winds should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And when you go into the rest of the chapter, it says hey, that them holding back the four winds, that nuclear destruction, they're not going to release it until the, the elect have been sealed. And what's going to happen? Hey, the, the, the MOTB is going to be mandatorily implemented, and then shortly thereafter, that's when the, ba the battle in the valley, Jehoshaphat's going to kick off, and those nuclear missiles are going to start flying from one end of the earth unto the other. 
That's what I had right here. I just, oh, uh, okay. Second Ezra, <laughs> second Ezra 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. Going into the, the defense mechanism failing. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Now, what kind of arrow can you shoot from one end of the world to the other? It's talking about a missile, man. And, this is uh, they're not going to miss. You got it. I'm just going to say, if you watch that movie Terminator 3, not, not 2, but 3, the movie ends with the nuclear missiles firing and they show a shot from space where you see the atmosphere and you just see the, the missiles with their, with their trails just boom in an explosion, like just crisscrossing in the atmosphere going from one end of the earth even into the other. And they look like arrows that are being shot from one mm -hmm. corner to the other. Okay. That's going to happen, man. All of the prophets, they didn't they didn't have the word, you know, ICBM back then. So they just used arrows, man. Yeah, you're not going to see Satan 2 or hypersonic missile <laughs> scriptures. Okay. You want me to bring out that uh, that second article on Russia? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get this too because uh, somebody get uh, it's Jeremiah 49, 31. And read 32. I'm going to get this other scripture real fast. The one that I wanted. Real, real fast. Because I want to get this scripture real fast right here. Yeah, this, uh, Jeremiah 49 and 31. Arise, get ye up unto the wealthy nation that dwelleth without care, said Yahweh, which have neither gates nor bars, which dwell alone. Which that's talking about America, clearly. There's no, you know. And their camels shall be a booty, and the multitude of their cattle a spoil, and I will scatter into all winds them that are the utmost corners, and I will bring their calamity from all sides thereof, saith Yahweh. Right. And that up those utmost corners, hey, the, the the ends of the earth, that 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 country at the end of the earth, as I said back in Jeremiah. 50 verse 12, they hinder most of the nations. Yeah. Yeah, it's not looking good for Babylon the Great, man. Let me see. Yeah. So don't worry about uh, overthrowing the government with cryptocurrency. Yeah, man. We got we to gotta take down the bankers with Bitcoin, which they created. It, right. <laughs> That was yeah. an anonymous Japanese dude. Like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, man. And, and people suck that shit up. They believe that bullshit, man. Yeah. They they really believe that. Right? Let's see. It's a double of second. <laughs> that guy, man. Plant. But yeah, this, I'm, I'm going to read the article real quick. This is... Uh, Starting at the, this is going into uh, who who is Russia and Bible prophecy. It says Rush is the word in Hebrew which means head or chief, and you know in the Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kodash is pronounced for Ash, but here, you know, so-called modern Hebrew is uh, Strong's H seventy two eighteen. It's Rush which says head, top, chief, head beginning. So in the article it says. Rush is a word in Hebrew, which means head or chief. Rush and Rush have been names used for Western Russia, Eastern Europe for over a thousand years. This is where the name Russia actually comes from. See also nations like Belarus, which again goes back to Rush. The evidence allows us to pair Rush, Meshach and Tubal together as they are all mentioned beside each other in Ezekiel 38 and six as dwelling in the far North. The Russians and other Eastern Europeans have other biblical nations associated with them. The Medes and the Persians were an alliance of two nations between 600 and 334 BC. Herodotus mentions that they had colonies in Eastern Europe around 400 BC. The Medo-Persians were defeated by Alexander the Great in 334 BC. At this time, the Medes began to migrate, which all of this is documented in the scriptures, which has the actual secular history of the earth. It says, in Strabo's account of geography, he mentions the Medes alongside the Mashi. These people dwell together. And then it says, uh, Pliny the Elder 
in the later first century noted that some of the Medes had migrated to the Don River, which is one of the major rivers of southern Russia. About nine years ago, Russia and Iran began formal cooperation with each other, which Iran is, is the modern term for Persia, which is in the scriptures. Persia was named after a Greek god, uh, Persis, which those are the, the Elamites. It says, especially in the area of military development, the symbol for Russia is the bear, which is the same animal used to describe the Medo-Persian empire in ancient times. See Daniel chapter seven, verse one through 10. The bear in Daniel has one side raised up. In ancient times, the Persians had a stronger control of this alliance. In modern time, the Medes, Western Russians, have the upper hand. They are raised up. When these nations agreed upon formal cooperation, it was bringing back this ancient alliance. We see from these brief explanations of history that Russia is referred to as Rosh, Meshach, and Tubal, and also the descendants of the Medes. Right, that's what you're seeing now, man. That bear is raised up, like it says. Whenever every time you see uh, alliance or uh, agreements come in hand with these smaller nations, uh, give me that one, uh, the weak said I am strong. I got it. Got it. Yeah, go ahead. This is Joel 3, verse, I'll start at verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, the heathen Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. All right. Let the weak, and some of the weaker nations, say that I am strong. But who's giving them the power to say that they are strong? The Russians, the bear, by giving them resources, giving them money, giving them aid into in, into getting military style weapons, all right? Aircrafts, boats, nukes. Those are the ones who's making those nations with a formal agreement, all right, with that alliance to come together, man. All right? Just as just as they have done with Iran, man. Who has given Iran uranium rods man all right who has given uh iran certain scientists and scientific uh information on to splitting the atom to making themselves nukes russia all right and with the help of china man all right them them, them goddamn goops them, them some them some well-skilled motherfuckers too man all through the power of the most high man going into uh what that is the other one uh and that's it i think that's it but go ahead go ahead uh and and to back you up russia russia gave military hardware to bashar al-assad in syria to help them fight against isis which was a a, a a proxy mercenary force for the u.s and israel and in libya russia took sides with the the ones that were the the government because you got a civil war going on right there between the pro-U.S. NATO government, and then the one side that Russia's on the side with, and Russia sent mercenary forces over there and military hardware to prop them up. So Russia's, Russia's as backing up what the elder brother said, Russia has given these weaker, smaller nations the means to rise up and say that they're strong now and, and talk shit against the U.S. Right. You know, and, and like I said, giving them the knowledge to, to do that, man. The, the, the different schematics and the, and the different... Uh, equipment to make those uh those missiles all right the, the missile capabilities those ak 40s who you think why you think the kalishnikov the, uh, the ak-47 is the most issued out gun around the world man by who the russians man all right what you what you think uh i forgot the name of that goddamn tank man it's a tank but it's a russian tank that's been it's these different nations have the same copy of the same tank. Where you think that's where you think the equipment is coming from? Russia, man. The MiG, the MiG fighter jet. That's a, right. that's a Russian design. Yeah, man. That's right. You know, just 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 as like I went into the scientists. Who giving who giving Iran the knowledge with those scientists, man? Ultimately, the Most High, but giving it down through Russia, man, through China. They have worked with Iran to get that. I got a script to go into that real fast. This is a. Uh, Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I created the smith that blew the coals in the fire that bring forth an instrument for his work, and I will and I have created the waste to destroy. 
That instrument is a nuclear mi missile, man. That's the waster, the ultimate waster to destroy. All right? And those nations, right along with that bell, Russia is going to destroy America, man, to keep pumping that vibration out there to you, man. All right? Russia is the bell. They always been known as the bear. All right? And that bear is in is that bear is in the warlike pad. You know, just like when you steal the cubs, you still the you still the cubs of a bear, man, that motherfucker is is, is strong, man. It's angry, man. And we seen the anger of that bear being pushed out, you know. And we, you know, I'm gonna say this, man. I hope some shit, I hope Sleepy Joe do some shit that really push really push ooh, excuse me. Really push that bear to his limits, man. Which is gonna happen. You know, we ready, you know, the men of law, we ready for this thing to bust, the scene to bust loose on this thing, man. All right, let me see some. And shit, Russia, Russia literally uses the bear in a lot of their iconography. That's right, man. <clears throat> yeah, you got anything else up? We, we kind of hit all, hit all yeah. points, though. Just to back up right what Ryan just said, there's actually posters of Putin riding a bear, literally. Like he rides <laughs> bears. Like he's just, he's not on that, he's not in that Joe Biden spirit, man. Putin's with the he's with he's with it, man. He's, yeah, he's not shitting on himself, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's not shitting on himself. He's a goddamn embarrassment, man. You know, you got you got you got all these goddamn peanut butter chasers, all right? <laughs> All in the army, you got all these goddamn black women, Mexican, white women, all in the army. That's a that's an insult. That's an embarrassment to the world armies, man. They laugh at your ass, man. You know. <clears throat> if I could, you know, when this thing breaks out, man, they wait. They can't wait to carve you up nice with some shit, man. You know these Russians. You know there's videos out there. You can go on uh link uh what it is, live link, live links and shit, man. They they burning goddamn flags every goddamn day, man. You know, they're ready to get their hands on you, you damn Americans, man. You know, you're ready to go to war, too. The world is ready to go to war. The world is ready to bring down this big, bad, the big, bad wolf, man. All right? The big, bad America. All right? Go yeah, ahead. I, you, got, you got something I, for you guys? Kind of, I just wanted to say, hey, these outside of uh, America and Western Europe and these, these, these okay. limp-wristed democracies or so-called, the rest of the world, you can at least give them heathens that like they're in that ancient spirit like putin's a modern day king xi jinping the 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 president of china he's a king he 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 was named president for life putin might as well be president for life they're in that they're in that spirit of hey one man one man rules the whole country that's why they're in that that masculine manly spirit yeah man and you see you see why they do the things they do man <clears throat> and they don't and they ain't wearing adult diapers like Biden and Trump. <laughs> right, man. <clears throat> hey man, so with that, man, we hope that was edifying to the next time we'll give all praise, glory, and finance to Yahweh. Double honor to the elders, apostles once again, peace and blessings, and citations to the hopeful elect and those that follow after the Lamb. Peace and blessings to the next time. Shalom Peace and blessings to the next time. Shalom. 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 Shal